how to prophesy by entering into a trance or you can put it as how to enter into a trance and prophesy trance is a form of a vision it is one of the way through which god communicates with prophetic people it is one of the ways that god has made it possible for prophecy to be uh, accessed and uh, his message whatever he wants to communicate to people at all through people and uh, through a vessel at all it's one of the ways and uh, this one of the ways means that trans is one of the visions forms we have types of visions and uh, among the types of visions that are known to man four of them trans is one strange type of vision uh, in the sense that with trans as you enter into a trance you are where you are you are not asleep but you lose consciousness of the uh, very place where you are momentarily to be in the spirit realm or the prophetic world to, for an inspection so you inspect things or you're guided in the prophetic realm to inspect things or whatever message it is there that god wants to bring your way so that uh, you are able to remember it when you come back to yourself where you are seated or standing or whatever during the time that you were taken into the trance there were prophets in the bible time that were taken into trances and they got visions and they came back and gave accurate prophecy the good thing about trances is that it's safe to unlock somebody's ability to prophesy at a higher dimension let me say with a greater speed or effect or accuracy so that forensic prophecy uh, to come to be in your ministry at all as a person who is prophetic being able to enter into trance will serve to position you to do better with forensic prophecy that's with pinpoint level kind of prophecy detailed prophecy as well as the ability to link your prophecy with the power of God or allow the power of God to serve your prophecy so that people get results as a result of your prophecy. So I'm trying to guide you here into a number of ways that you can enter into trans uh, trances, precisely three ways that you can enter into trances and prophesy as somebody who has been called by God to prophesy. We have a case in Ezekiel chapter 1 where Ezekiel the prophet said that in verse 3 that the word of the Lord came to Ezekiel the son of Buzi who happened to the priest by the river of Cheba uh, expressly the word came to him expressly and he said I looked at the hood that's in verse 4 and uh, he said that I saw a whirlwind uh, engulfing itself and he described he said that he saw four living creatures there and the four living creatures that he saw or the likeness of living creatures that he saw uh, each of them had got four, four wings each of them had got four faces that was what the prophet said here and then described the four faces as the face of the ox face of the eagle face of the man and uh, a face of the lion he described the feet as uh, straight as the feet of a calf and then described their wings as joining uh, uh, each other that is one another so that uh, they did not turn when, where they went and they were carried by wheels and the wheels had a wheel in a wheel and the wheel had eyes these are angels in their different form that's from the living creature to the wheels that's not our scope in this video a concern is that this kind of detailed vision that Ezekiel had that was a vision of the Lord that he concluded he said this is the form of the Lord which I saw and he said when I saw this I start for uh, for a number of days and uh, was speechless could not talk until the Lord enabled him again to talk uh, this kind of detailed vision actually steps anybody up and so it's a privilege for you desiring to grow in the prophetic whichever level you are at the time to have this kind of vision so Ezekiel had it and you can catch this kind of vision or enter into this kind of vision uh, 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 through a number of kind of vision like dream or the other two visions that we use for prophesying or a trance let's assume that Ezekiel came into this encounter through the vision type called the trance that's why I had to use it as an example so it served here a trance served here as the entry gates or interface that enables you to now access and uh, interact with the prophetic realm remarkably or significantly enough to appreciate things that you can recall when you are back from that realm. Um, there are other cases that Ezekiel apparently uh, made it clear 
that he entered into a trance in his book. An example can uh, be seen with Ezekiel chapter 37 where he said that he was carried out in the spirit of the Lord. Yeah, and then was brought to a valley that was full of moon. Carried out here is much like being taken out in a trance. I do not mean that specifically this was a trance encounter because the report here did not specify Ezekiel's or what became of Ezekiel's body the moment he was carried out in the spirit of the Lord. So you can't specifically say that he was taken out in his trance. So I want to make you understand something. Why we call them vision, therefore, is the fact that the bear resemblance, you see, you can be carried out uh, in the spirit of the Lord without a trance, but it has to be another kind of vision. Maybe let's say an open vision or in a dream. But here, let's also look at it. It's very much possible that I can be carried out like that in the spirit of the Lord in a trance. And um, to go and inspect such a forensic site and then to detail the prophecy to the people of God, like it happened with this prophet by the name Ezekiel. All right, let's move on here. There are three ways that you can enter into a trance. Mind you, I had said that trances sharpen you, that is, step you up, not just sharpen you. It kind of unlock you to be to, 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 to amaze yourself when you prophesy. That's a secret I've on, observed with trances. You become sharp, dangerously sharp when you enter into trance that's a secret to trance so it's a it's 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 a preparatory ground <laughs> but there are lots you do before you come into the privilege to enter into trance freely and uh, with ease but let's talk about three ways that god brings you into a trance number one is specific separation to be spoken to god will give you a word saying separate yourself to so and so place i want to talk to you like jesus was led by the spirit of the lord into the wilderness like moses was called repeatedly to meet god on the mountain when he was bringing back the people of israel uh, from egypt in that day so god can instruct you to separate yourself so he can meet with you i've had a lot of testimonies of men of god uh, in the course of my experience around the prophetic and my research we uh, god had to ask uh, his vessels or servants meet me at this place and it's in the process that it will take them out of uh, the body experience into a trance so trance is a kind of an out of the body experience and then they'll be consciously where they are uh, for a moment and then uh, conscious where they are for a moment and then disappear vanish from their body and lose consciousness so that even if you touch them they don't know they are there until they had seen everything interacted with everything god wants them to see hear, and interact with in the prophetic realm and then he will bring them back into their body and then he will instruct them now to act upon what he had enabled them to see in the course of their trans encounter so this one is an out Try instruction from God that you being a prophetic person need to pick, be able to pick this signal that this kind of signal comes with a kind of burden heavy burden that you cannot resist so attempting to become heady to eat now uh, displaces you from the hour of visitation so this is an hour of visitation and so God will ask you to isolate yourself and usually it is uh, to a word place, a place that is not uh, common for you to visit in at least uh, giving your personal decision to visit a place at the time. And this form usually happens in the beginnings when God is introducing you to trans experience. The second one is spontaneous switch. This is because Oh, this one happens only on the account that you have been so deep into God by way of studying or engaging an active uh, relationship with God to the point where your spirit now um, is uh, linking easily with the spirit of God 
What I mean is that the slightest thing you are able to interact with the spirit realm. So it's very easy for God to uh, double shoot you. Let me put it that way. So that it's not with one of the basic or other kinds of vision, but straight to a trance takes you there spontaneously. It's a switch. And you are not the one who controls this or determine when, when this happens. This is a type that Reverend Kenneth E. Egan said that he will be ministering in a church and then he will get into that realm and then he will begin to minister to the sick even online and not knowing he was walking about laying hands. You know, prophetically the spirit was now uh, showing him in the course of his presence in this trans realm. Now he will begin to touch lives and heal them. These people who is touching and healing Actually, in the trans realm, he's seeing them and knowing that they are sick and knowing the name of the sickness. So he will mention the exact sickness that they were suffering. But consciously come to a physical state, the man of God is not aware of what he's doing, but he's doing the right thing physically before the people. That's another realm altogether with trans. A second way you can enter into trans or God brings you into trans experience but this one makes you passive in the earth realm but active in the trans realm so you are not you are just being used here you're not part of the what is happening there the third way that you can enter into trans is like a waking sleep uh here you are supposed to be sleeping but you know that you didn't sleep you laid down to sleep. Let's say so. It slipped down. You laid down to sleep, but you did not sleep. And you were taken uh, out. You had an out of the body experience. And we're going to interact with all kinds of realm as the spirit wants you to have the experience. And you know that you're still lying on the bed. You know you're still lying on the bed. When you come back to yourself, you know you didn't sleep. Yeah. You, you, you actually were taken out to interact with a prophetic realm. And usually every message of prophetic encounter experience during such time is uh, uh, super clear, super accurate. So if it is not super accurate, then it was not trans that you entered into in each of the three cases that I just mentioned. So the unique thing about transes, therefore, in the three cases, like uh, I've just detailed, the third one I said that... Uh, this can be like uh, someone who doesn't know may think they had dream, but in reality, there was nothing like dream. You didn't even sleep. You were taken out of the body to have an out of the body experience. So you're sleeping and you lay down to sleep and then you just travel. Or you, at, at some other time, you're lying down and not to sleep, but meditating and then off you're gone, off you're gone. And in most cases, this one happens when you had closed your eyes you felt like you want to sleep that's the unique thing about this that's it you felt like you wanted to sleep then you you laid down and then you discover you are taking out of your body sometimes you can't even see yourself leaving your empty body yeah it can be so terrifying sometimes that's a third way to enter into trance or god brings you into trance but you know, not yet, the mathematics that you do, given your depth with spirituality and then prophetic understanding and depth, that brings you or places you at this threshold, where it becomes very easy for the spirit to adjust to you into the realm where trances become things that happen every now and then, and then that you can also control so that they don't happen at the wrong place. Now, it has to do with maturity. And uh, I want to make you understand that Transits are good and God uses them, uses uh, his prophetic people uh, through transits to catch uh, real-time revelations and uh, visions and, uh, I mean visions and then prophesy with accuracy at forensic level. All right. God bless you. I pray that the Lord give you all it takes to fly higher in the prophetic in Jesus' mighty name. I want to introduce to you the certificate course in forensic prophecy, which I have by privilege put together to polish prophetic people to be able to prophesy with 100 percent accuracy walk into the prophetic office and then learn how to know how to switch between miracles and prophecies with ease and with these god has touched uh prophets and apostles and more 
alike across the globe with in over 120 nations at the time. The results are baffling. And Enroll now and take your prophetic walk to a higher dimension. God bless you. In case you're new here, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and uh, share to bless somebody. Don't forget, comment to tell me how this video has helped you. I pray that from today, the Lord activate you to be able to enter into trance with ease in Jesus' mighty name.